I see your guys' comments. I know what you guys want to see. TRX4 versus Vanquish Phoenix Portal. Let's go run them through some gates and see how they stack up. Okay guys, we've got eight sets of gates set up on these rocks. Should be a good time. I have not run them with any truck yet, so some of them might not even be possible. But we're gonna start off with the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. This one has been upgraded. You can see the wheels and tires on there. It's got a brushless system. It's got a strong servo. It's got a battery relocation mount. It's got underdrive in the rear axle, as well as some other goodies like widening stub shafts from MIP for the portals. So truck's a little bit wider. Body's been cut. Bumpers have been tucked. Let's see how this thing does running some gates, and then we're gonna run them with the Vanquish portal. So let's go ahead and drop right in and get ourselves set up for gate one. Hobbywing Fusion set up in here. A little, little spicy with the 1200 KV. Working our way over to gate number one. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that I have better control with my other controller I'm using on the Phoenix. I'm using two different controllers here. This is the Traxxas. I struggle to reach the Traxxas. That one's hard to reach. So for whatever that's worth. Uh, sometimes my steering might not be the best. Woo. Okay, got it turned around up there. Let's go do another U-turn. Okay, back up. Oh no, stupid bushes. Okay, all right, reverse. That's all I'm giving myself for that. Up through this V-notch. This one's pretty steep. Hopefully this is possible because I've not tried this obstacle before. <laughs> okay, I cruised up through gate number two. Off to gate number three. Uh-oh. Need to start hooking up. Come on. Let's, let's go. We're going up to the top. This is like an off-camber, weird, ledgy, just kind of an overall crappy setup on this obstacle. Okay, yeah, we might be able to sneak in here. Just dodge that arrow. We lost contact with our tires. Reverse. So does it make sense to drive forward passenger? We can try it. I don't know if it's going to get us where we want to go, though. Oh, man. It's just on the chassis now. Come on, Traxxas. I think we're hitting lipo cutoff, actually. And we bump gate three. Okay. Still not out of there though. Okay, just take the reverse to get out of it. Get yourself lined up better. Turn. That was it. Over to gate number four. And I just missed gate number four. Make the path to gate number four as easy as you can. Okay. And I do not have much left turn. Just straight up diffed out. What the hell? Reverse. Use your full reverse. There you go. Don't drive like an idiot. If I didn't drive like an idiot, this wouldn't be any fun. There we go. Lined up nice between the gates. Get the rear through, and then we got to dive off the ledge to the right. Truck took that like a champ. Way to go, Traxxas. Now we're heading over into gate five. I could like drive to the top of gate five and sneak through, but I, w I intended this to be the climb and then turn left out of it. Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what I had in mind. 
cleared five, cleared the arrow, over to six. We're gonna drag our belly here, so we gotta give it a little throttle right now. Popped up there. Well, a truck not turning doesn't help. Reverse. I will score these up afterward when I edit the video. Damn you, Traxxas. Reverse. Okay, I want to get the tire on that ledge right there. There we go. Got to keep it up there. Got the rear through, no problem. The gate itself wasn't all that difficult. It's the exit out of here because you don't want to end up on your roof and end up with the reposition on the total score. I'm pretty harsh with those. I score 15 points for a repo. Floor it. Nice. Got out of there clean. Reverse. That was avoidable. Man, this thing is not turning. Okay, use the rock. Let's climb up. Let's go back driver, back passenger. That's it. I kind of want to keep it right there. Okay, we're going to clear seven, looks like. Just a big, ugly, ledgy climb. Clear that arrow. Got the fronts up and over the top. Got the rear through. Beautiful. Okay, I don't want to take a reverse here, so we're going to go do a loop. And then bring it back in and give ourselves plenty of room to get set up well for gate number eight, which is our last gate. I've only hit one gate so far, so feeling pretty good. A couple reverses just for dumb spots, but also haven't ended up completely off the wheels. So that's not so bad. All right. Cruising through. And time. That was the run with the Traxxas. So far, I'd say that was a solid run, other than uh, the steering not working exactly how I want. I'm not getting the throw that I'm looking for. I'm not even hitting steering stops with this. And because of the Traxxas controller, I'll have to look up how to adjust endpoints. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty happy with that. Let's see how the Phoenix does. Fly Sky GT5, I can reach the steering way better on this one. Here we go. Vanquish, Phoenix Portal. Method Vanquish wheels. There are no weights in the wheels. I'm using the Axial SCX 103 tires, the Nitto Trail Grapplers. We've got full Tekken electronics. We've got the Tekken Power Cell Graphene Battery Pack, which is a high voltage 3S, and it is fully charged right now. Uh, we're also rocking the Tekken RX4 ESC and Rock 412 and a 3100 KV, and I've dropped it down to like a nine tooth pinion on here. I'm gonna be using the full capabilities of the truck. So I'm gonna be using DIG and the overdrive differences to make up for where the performance may be lacking a little bit on the Phoenix. Let's get to it guys, let's see how these trucks compare. I shouldn't have to do as many big loops like the Traxxas because I should be able to just front burn my way around. Well, let's see how she goes. And drop in. Just like that, already saving ourselves time and effort. Just getting over to gate one. Oh, we're bellied up. Okay, we're still all right. You guys can see how much dig is helpful just how much easier it is to manipulate the truck, get it where you want. Oh dear. We're gonna take a backup because I don't wanna hit that cone. Well, that's a bummer. Oh well. Okay, so let's stay away from cone number two a little more. Beautiful. Nice, smooth crawl. And then we're just gonna try and head right uphill from there. That's where the Traxxas didn't have a whole lot of traction either. But it was able to eventually get it hooked up. 
There we go. So at least with this truck, I can use some overdrive to help this front end pop up this next obstacle. So there we go, we'll engage the excessive overdrive, which is gonna help us with our steering on our way in. And then I can also use dig in addition to the overdrive to help position the truck where we want. So we can get the front end in and hopefully up this wall and then use, and then burn to get the rear positioned where we need it. Uh, it's too late, we're gonna crush gate three. So let's take a backup and let's try this one more time. I'm hoping with that backup, I can, uh, oh dear. And yeah, now we're in trouble. Okay, got the rear end real low. Might be able to sneak in on this angle actually. Did not bump the arrow cone on the way in. Gotta watch the rears. What is this truck doing? Where's it going? Oh, man, that was so close, but it got it done. Okay. Perfect example of backup instead of hitting a cone. So I took it out of the crazy overdrive since we don't really need it for this obstacle. I do have way better steering angle on this truck as well. Got through gate number four clean on the front. And then I want to wash this front end off right here. Tekken T440 servo. That thing is so cool with the capabilities of this truck. Lock it in dig so that I can drag the rear tires off a little more controlled. Do what I want with the front end. And we're out, we're over to five. Very interesting, almost the exact same time between gates one to four, because I stopped my GoPro to save the video just to make sure I get half of it, I'm guaranteed. Ah, that didn't feel good. Reverse. So let's try some overdrive. So once the front end gets over the top, it pulls the nose down instead of flipping the truck over. So we want to get it up on top of this ledge. And hopefully it'll just drag that rear end of the wall. Yeah, loaded it up a lot more. Bellied out pretty hard. Apparently the Traxxas has a better belly clearance. Let's give this one more shot, reverse. I just didn't think I was gonna clear that cone. If I can clean this course, I should be able to win. Okay, I gotta back up one more time. I've really gotta make it happen here. Cause not only am I eating up reverses, I'm also killing a lot of time. I don't have a time limit for myself, but in a real comp, that's always important. I wanna shoot it once it gets hooked. So we're gonna rip up here. Yeah, I'm gonna hit four, damn it. Get up here. And get it. So now I added those two extra backups. And now that I've hit one of the cones, I can't hit any more. And I need to beat the score on the Traxxas purely on backups. Because I didn't get a reposition on the Traxxas. So now we're in dangerous territory. I won't overdrive. Flick it down. And then that's going to allow that front end to pop up a little easier. Yep, just like that. I want to go back out of overdrive because we're side hilling and I don't want the rear end to wash at this point. We're next to the cone, just got to get past it. Clean on six. 
Get that front end to hold us up on our way down. This is the only downside I've found with this Tekken system is it likes to cog when the drag brake's engaged. So now I'm gonna give it overdrive so that it pulls the front end out once it comes down and hits the ground. I need wheel speed. Yeah, did exactly what I wanted. Got the overdrive engaged. Just fall on that formation up. Fall on that rock ravine. See if we can keep it off the belly. Get up over the top, still in overdrive. Cleared seven. Using that back left as an anchor to help pull the truck right around. That was it. Drop the front end off. I'm gonna try and dig my way over a little bit. Perfect, touchdown right where I wanted it. Uh-oh, gotta watch that rear. Don't hit eight. Oh no. Ah, I killed gate eight and it on the last gate and I lose with the Vanquished Phoenix. Damn, I thought I had that, man. That sucks. Obviously guys, these trucks are very comparable and uh, they both did pretty damn good. This Phoenix did a little better than I anticipated. I kind of expected the uh, TRX4 to win, honestly. And there you have it. The uh, TRX4 Sport won on this set of gates. Obviously it's not like just a flat out winner. Both of them are very capable trucks. They're both very fun to drive and I'm having a great time with it. I'm going to go throw down some new gates and run my cappers through it, but I'm going to make that a separate video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. Use the affiliate links down below to Amazon and Amain, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.